I'm William Smith, Executive Director of the National Center for Race Amity at Wheelock College in Boston. There's this sort of this joke within the African American community that, you know, if you're black and over 50, you were first at something. I mean, that's how segregated this country was. I was an athlete, um, and uh, my first was, uh, along with two other um, young men, we integrated Division I football uh, in the old Confederate South. We were the first blacks to play uh, Division I football um, below the Mason-Dixon line. We integrated Wake Forest College at the time, which is now Wake Forest University. Uh, generally in that period, there was tremendous amount of activity relative uh, in the South, and specifically again in Greenville, South Carolina, where I lived, uh, of people trying to advance equity and access through protest movements. Uh, I'll have to admit readily that um, I did not um, have the courage to be a part of the nonviolent protest. The heroines were my sisters, my two older sisters, who were, who are, uh, and were at that time just young women of extraordinary courage. I mean, they actually went out. They were leaders along with friends locally in South Carolina uh, in protests and sit-in movements. Uh, and uh, I say I didn't have the courage. Uh, I hid behind a, a, a mask of machismo, of uh, bravado, uh, you know, I'm not going to let anybody hit me because I will kick their butt. Um, and that was because I couldn't uh, summon the moral courage to uh, be nonviolent, to passively resist. Today, people from that era, you hear a lot of people say, oh yeah, I was involved in the movement, and, uh, and perhaps they were, and many were, uh, but the nonviolent protest part of it uh, was an extraordinary, I say creme de la creme moral group of young people who, who did that work. Lyndon Johnson, had he not been the president, the stuff wouldn't have happened. He was the right guy at the right time who knew all the buttons to push. This man made some decisions uh, and had the will to see them through, and the will to confront people to make them happen. Uh, and certainly, um, I mean, just the things that grew out of that. Uh, you know, the, the uh, great society, model cities, all these things that sort of, um, people say, well, those were failures, uh, but they were a, an acknowledgement and a step and a move in the direction uh, of some kind of um, effort even though flawed, to correct past wrongs uh, on a large scale uh, officially by the government of this country. That whole era uh, was full of contention. It was full of uh, real super moral courage uh, of people. Uh, and uh, uh, it was just one of, to me, one of the most important times in this nation's history.